Yo, what's up, as a fear? Today we're gonna be food tripping at a carinderia. But this is just not any carinderia. They are famous for their beef Paris overload and there are the beef dishes as well. So I am here today at Don Quito. So I hope you are into this one. Let's go and check this out. Right, so our food is finally here and this is one of the advantages when you eat in a carinderia because you just choose and it's already cooked it will be served immediately on your table before we get this food trip started if you guys are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do you're doing me a big favor by doing so and also hit that notification bell so that you'll be always notified from all of my channel's activity right so it's time to take off our mask let's do a very filipino style food trip for today so i have here some rice beef steak or the bistec tagalog i have here the beef salpicao pork afetada and their very famous beef paris overload let's try with the beef dishes here let's try this beef steak or the bistec tagalog let's try this one As expected, the sauce is a little sweet. It has very, very tiny sour flavor. The beef meat is not that tender, but it will render with good amount of chew. But it is so awesome because every time you chew further, it's gonna release more of that beefy flavor on your tongue. So this is their beef steak. And look at that, slices of onions and that steak sauce. Now this time with the rice. Mmm. Mmm. That bite is so awesome. Every Filipino dish is really rich with flavor. So it is always a good combination with the rice. Let's have another one. Mmm. This is so tasty. Actually, the beef meat is not that chewy. Just the perfect amount of chew that is so satisfying. Another one big bite. This beef steak's mind-blowingly good. Now let's try this beef salpicao. Mmm. Mmm. Now I like this more. It has this more strong and aggressive flavor. The beef meat is much more tender and it has this mild spicy aftertaste. So this is their beef salpicao, so you can see there's some potatoes, carrots, bell pepper, and the beef meat on this one. Like I said earlier, this one's much more tender, and it is super juicy. Now with the rice. Mm. Mm. This is so fantastically delicious. It still has this sweet taste, but this is more peppery and a little spicy. Now with some potatoes. Mm. This is so yummy. The beefiness on this one is more sensational and it is so addictive. Another one. Mm. And then the rice. This is so irresistible. Now let's try the pork afritada. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> that bite is so amazingly fatty. The sauce on this one is tomatoey and a little sour. Also that amazing texture from the pork liver. This is their pork afritada. So this one, there's some pork liver, carrots, potatoes. As you can see, this one's peppery as well. Bell pepper is there. Now 
now with the rice. Mmm, that is so ridiculously good. You know that a little bitterness from the pork liver, when it's combined with the affritada sauce and the porky flavor, it's just out of this world tasty. Let's have another one. And I so love the umami flavor from this sauce. It just complements everything. The carrots, the meat, the pork liver. That's why it's so amazing. Mm. And as you can see right now, people are starting to crowd this place because it's lunchtime already. And it's because their food here is really tasty. Mm. This pork affritada is a must get. It's time to have a bite of their fried chicken. I really love fried chicken, so I made sure to have one. Mm, the chicken skin. Mm. So this chicken is kind of dry, but when it comes to its flavor, it's really on point. Even the batter of this chicken has this mild taste and really goes so well with the chicken flavor. So this is their fried chicken. Although the size of this one is kind of big. I mean, yeah, this will definitely fill you up. Not the juiciest chicken, but it is so flavorful. Let's have another bite. Mm. This chicken is not half bad. Flavor is there, fragrance and texture. It's just that it's a little dry. This chicken is definitely flavorful. Before we continue, I just want to give a huge shout out and give back my support to Alti Miles. So she's our friend and she's our cooking member. She's based in Hong Kong and she does anything under the sun on her vlogs. Showing some exercises and workouts in amazing tourist spots of Hong Kong as well. So please check out Alti Miles' YouTube channel as well. Now let's go back to this video. Now it's time for the star of the show and I have here the Beef Paris Overload and this one is so mouth-watering. So this is their Beef Paris Overload and look at this one. Have here some ginger, shaw mai, the boiled egg here, chunks of beef meat. There's some pork meat actually in this one as well. Now let's try the soup. Mmm. This is so ridiculously yummy. It's definitely gooey. You can taste and smell the star anise in this one. Peppery as well. And it's so fantastically beefy. I just have a bite with the meat because I'm so excited in this one. That was one of the best bites that I had. Because there's a lot of textures from that bite. The beef meat is so amazingly tender. And then that amazing texture from the pig's snout or from the face of the pig. It's bouncy and soft and spongy at the same time. It's just so satisfying to eat. Let's have another one. Mmm. This is so insanely addicting. I didn't add any flavoring on this one. A calamansi would definitely level up the flavor of this beef Paris, but this one on its own is just so flavorful. Now let's try the shaw mai. Mm. Even the shaw mai is so good. I don't know if it's from the shaw mai or from the sauce that gives it a little sweetie flavor, but it's just so good. Now let's do this one big bite. Mm, that by the sour of this world, yummy. Mm, even the noodles is so good. Beef Paris is always accompanied by a rice. That's why it's called Paris because it's paired with a rice. But since this one is already with the noodles, I cannot ask for more. This is a winner.
hide now it's time for dessert and for my dessert this one is a very classic filipino dessert this one is the benigni let's try this one mm, definitely coconutty milky and it's so satisfying to eat because there's a lot of textures in this one i really love that sweetie aftertaste because when you first take a bite on this one you get different flavors of the ingredients in this one but later on the sweetness will come out And my favorite here is the rice ball or the bilo bilo. So this is a closer look of the benigne. Look at this one. Just from the looks of this one, it's just so yummy. Mm. This is so delicious. Bro, that was really a good lunch here at Don Quito's. I definitely fell in love with the dishes here. Most especially my favorite, the Beef Paris Overload. Man, it's so crazy. So tasty, fully loaded with pork meat, beef meat, the noodles, the shawmai. Everything is just so perfect for each other. And it delivers it an amazing flavor, texture, and fragrance. And also the other dishes as well was really, really good. The beef salpicao, the beef steak, the pork afritada. It was so tasty, perfectly cooked. And they just smell so lovely. I would really recommend to you guys visiting here everything that you need from a restaurant or from a food place is here it's clean it's a new building they have enough parking space for customers and they are so accommodating too they're just in front of the felt person chalet if you have any suggestions for my next food location just drop it down in the comments below i would definitely read all of it and make sure to visit in all those places so i hope you enjoyed this video again this is me and i'll see you in the next one